Do you guys want to introduce yourselves? Sure. So my name is Megan, and I am the development coordinator at Watson Children's Shelter. And my name is Angie Doucette, and I'm the development director. And uh, part of uh, moving forward uh, with your guys' big fundraising event, um, Bike for Shelter, um, you guys can't do that, but you're doing something a little different this time around. Could you tell us a little bit more about that? We are. We're going virtual. Um, everyone needs to practice their, I like to say physical distancing, not social distancing. Um, so we're physically distancing ourselves from our event. This year was our 20th annual in 2020, and we were looking so forward to doing something huge um, to have those numbers be part of, of the event. But um, it is huge. It's different. We have to change it. So we are still doing our event. We're super lucky to have amazing sponsors to sponsor the event. And um, we're all just gonna go on a bike ride with our families or by ourselves. And we're just asking people to register for the event so that we can um, still participate together separately. Nice. Oh, can you guys tell me a little bit more about, uh, cause I know that every year, uh, the Montana Railing is one of your biggest sponsors. Yes. Yeah, so, um, sorry. Um, Montana Rail Link and the Dennis and Phyllis Washington Foundation uh, have now this year split the major sponsor spot. So we're super happy to have both of them on as our uh, premier sponsors. Nice. And uh, part of this is, uh, this is a big chunk of your uh, annual fundraising is with the Bike for Shelter. Of course, you do many different uh, um, events as well. I believe you guys do like a bowling night as well? We actually don't do a bowling night, but our other event is the Tennis Pro-Am oh, yeah, in right. October. Um, this year, it's October 1st through the 4th, and so um, we're hoping to be able to keep everything the same for that this year, but we'll just see what happens. <laughs> right, we're kind of playing it week by week at this point. Yes, exactly. <laughs> So tell us about uh, a little bit more about your expectations from this uh, virtual uh, kind of uh, do-it-yourself at home kind of uh, bike for shelter. Yeah, I think that we're just expecting everyone to kind of um, share on social media and show, you know, that they're still supporting the children and the staff that we have working every day and, um, you know, that they um, are still a part of this and still a part of the community, even if they are not in Missoula. Anyone can participate in the ride. So um, from anywhere in the world, anywhere they want at any time during the whole month of May. And so we just really want to emphasize, you know, physical dis distancing, but also still getting out, enjoying the nice weather and um, supporting Watsons during this time. Nice. Uh, do you have anything to add, Angie? Uh, really, we're just looking to keep that part of the event as just keeping the word out what Watson does. So we take care of 24 children at any given time. Um, usually our average right now is a little over 100 children a year we take care of um, when they are experiencing some sort of crisis. So for us, this is just really keeping the awareness of what we're doing in our community. These children are usually um, part of that, part of our community where no one really talks a lot about. So for us, just keeping the awareness out that we're here, we're still taking care of these kids. Our houses are full. Uh, we also service uh, 30 families right now in our program called Healthy Foundations. And that is um, helping those high-risk families uh, while they're pregnant or almost, um, you know, having these moments of time with an infant that can really create an unhealthy family unit. I right. guess. And, um, and this is really one of those times where those families need that support. So we're not closing the doors. We need to help those families and make sure that those children are safe. And we just follow those families along this whole path and just give them that 
uh, that support that they need. So for us, this event is super important, not only because it helps us raise money, which of course is what all nonprofits need, um, especially right now, Right. but really we're just trying to create that awareness that we're still going, we're still helping children and families. And this is a crisis that is um, just proven that it will, um, it'll just keep happening and we need to be that bright light in those children's and families' lives right now. Cool. And I guess my next question is, how can people uh, help and spread the word and plug it? Like, like if they take a photo of themselves on their bikes with their families, where do they hashtag all that stuff? Yeah, so we actually, the event is free this year. It's free every year. Um, we started that last year, and we just feel like it's really important for everyone to be able to pars participate without the registration fee. Um, and so you'll get a free t-shirt and a bike for shelter um, rodeo medal in there in the mail if you register on our website. So if you go to watsonschildrenshelter.org and register. And then also if you share on our social media um, a picture or a selfie of you on your bike ride and you hashtag bike for shelter, then you will be entered to win a raffle basket with a value of over $250. Mm -hmm. Um, it has lots of good prizes in there, um, lovely things from around the Missoula community, and um, just a super fun way to get involved in the um, Bike for Shelter event and see what other people are doing. Nice. And that, this is, sounds like it's going to be a very uh, evolved uh, particular program, and hopefully next year you guys will be able to get back on the bikes um, and get the wheels to tread. I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to be clever. <laughs> but um, where can people find more information? How can people get in contact with you guys? Just one last uh, push. Yeah. Do you want to answer, Megan? <laughs> so if you go to our website, watsonschildrenshelter.org, or if you go to our Facebook page, we have um, most of the information for Bike for Shelter on there as well. And you can always email Angie or I um, at info at shelterforchildren.com or call the office and hopefully someone will be there to answer your questions. <laughs> awesome. Anything else, Angie? Yeah, well, our phone number is 406-549-0058. Um, again, we, we usually have one person in the office right now answering phone calls, but the best way to get us is info at shelterforchildren.com, and four is the number four, not F-O-R. Right. And um, really just checking out our website, follow us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram. We're constantly posting um, things that you can get involved with, uh, and then just always going to our website. We are... Um, limiting our ways donations are coming in our door but we're not limiting the need for the donations so we are welcoming anyone to give us a call and we'll schedule an appointment um, and then we also on our website you can just hit the donate now button and you don't have to get out of your house or change out of your pajamas you can just donate online <laughs> nice well thanks Angie thanks Megan I really appreciate you guys uh, joining me on this uh, uh, video chat all right. Thank, Thank you. you so much for having us. We appreciate it.